Welcome to Report and Run Cloud. This video will show you how a sample construction company organizes, maintains, and sends reports using our web portal. First, we log in. After you have successfully logged in, you will see the home screen. You will be able to see your own space and any other spaces, folders, or reports shared with you. We are going to take a look inside the sample construction company space. This is the directory screen. It is where you can view, edit, and create folders and reports. This company has organized the folders into clients, projects, townhouses, and progress reports. In practice, you can set up your folders according to your industry's needs. You can see that Townhouse A has some existing reports. We will take a look at the latest report, Progress Report 5. This is the report screen. A report is a list of images and text. This one is organized in sections such as garage, lower floor hallway, bedroom one, and so forth. Again, you can organize your reports according to your industry requirements. Let's take a look at the lower floor hallway. We can see that work has been assigned to John's painting and it has been completed. If you click John's painting, you can see all of the items assigned to him in this report. Likewise, if you click on completed, you can add descriptions to the images using the tabs details and properties. You can also view the image on the details screen. By clicking on the draw icons, you can add annotations to the image, such as arrows, circles, polygons, ticks, and crosses. You can assign the image to a selection, add a title and description. You can also set properties such as GPS location, assignee, due date, start date, and status. If this item's condition changes over time, you can add follow-up images to show this progression. In this example, the user took a photo of the work while in progress and when it was completed. He also created a before and after image using Report and Run Integrate's Image Builder on their phone. Now, let's navigate back and share the report. You can invite users into your account to view or edit this report, or you can create a PDF or DOCX version and send it to them. First, we'll invite a new user to view our report. Here, you can see all of the permissions that can be granted to the user. Note, you can have up to 10 report viewers for each report, and these viewers will not count towards your user count. This new user will receive an invitation email and log in to view the report online. Great, let's navigate back and generate a PDF. The report generation is accessible from the Publish menu. In this case, we're going to generate a PDF. You can choose an inbuilt template and the sections that you want to include. Once you're ready, you can generate the report. It will be created and stored in the cloud. Once complete, you can download and share it via email. Alternatively, you can share it via a link that lasts up to seven days. In this case, only a URL needs to be sent. This can be more convenient for larger reports. Okay, let's take a look at our final report. It looks like it's ready to be shared with our team members or clients. We hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough of a sample construction company using Report and Run Cloud. You can visit us at reportandrun.com cloud for more information or visit our YouTube channel for more videos.